Hello, 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 everybody. You've got Mike with Riding in the Ozarks and my buddy Bagger Bader's in the house. And of course, Jeff live from the cat house. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man, how are you doing? I know we got a couple of people going to be jumping in here. Uh, Kyle's going to be joining us tonight from Pig Trail Harley Davidson. I believe Carrie and Andy are sitting right there with you. I was looking there, man, talking about the guy, and here he comes. Uh-huh. And there's Kyle. I mean, I don't want to say his. I, I know more than say his name, and here he appears. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> you know Kyle's not going to be late. I promise you, he's a very punctual guy, man. Man, I was late, actually, by, by some seconds there, Mike. That's, uh, that's all right. We cover for you. I barely got done with the intro. I said, we've got Kyle join us later tonight, and then pop, here you came. Heck right yeah. on time. Good to see y'all. You know, I was just thinking, you know, you hear about the big down in that neck of the woods, and Tyson, and... Walmart and JB Hunt, but shit, they ain't got nothing on these three. <laughs> Thank you. We got, we got the big dogs. I think we got the big three, the real big three. Let's see here if we can get one more up in here. I think it's trying to connect. I don't see no video for them yet, but it says they're here. We'll see if they got a good connection. You got, you got. We're trying to bring the switch back in. How's the weather down there today, guys? Hey, it's, it's good. I mean, it's been it's been sunny up here all day. Uh, weather's about seventies. Kyle, about the same down there. Yeah, we got a little bit of rain that just hit, but it's been nice. All right, I want everybody in the chat. We got over twenty people in here. Give us a shout out where you're from, how you're doing. We got Evil Evil Rick. We got XAN Biker who will be joining us at Spring Fling. Road Rush Nations joining us at Spring Fling, Chasing Adventures. Chase, you know, Foster, he'll be there for sure. Uh, Road Rush is here. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, I'm sure we got some more people going to be joining us. There's Carrie. Oh, uh, we got the Mecca. Oh, no, we got to go. You guys, you guys sitting too close to Jeff? Yeah, they're moving. Yeah, too much. Too, too, you get that. The uh, uh, two mics are too close together. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't hear myself echoing back now. Wait, hey, I to say, can I say something real quick, Mike? Absolutely. And, and I know Kyle appreciate that, yeah. and I want no. him to know. So, so for all you YouTube people and social media people, yeah. I want to give an example, just like this. We're still echo. echo. We got to go. But you got Wait, inside. Road, yeah. Road Rash Nation uh, made a little video for YouTube. And, and I'm telling you, man, for people like me and Kyle, she did a great job. I, I don't know if you've seen it, Kyle, but Road Rash Nation, they got a, they got a little YouTube channel. They had a very quality video, kind of said what was on her mind and all that stuff. And I'm telling you, all that little stuff they do for Spring Fling, we really appreciate it because Absolutely. that's what ultimately makes this rally. And all every one of y'all that does that and puts our names out there, I think we all feel honored to be a part of that. I mean, I'm not going to put words in your mouth, Kyle. That's all. No, absolutely, man. Y'all uh, bring people to the Ozarks. It's a great place. We try to do our part and give them something cool to come check out. And y'all, uh, you know, put your referral out there, man. It makes a big difference. I agree with Jeff. Thank you all very much for what you do. Witchcraft Cycle Works is in the house. I know they'll be joining us. I think Saddle Tramp may be coming back to this year, Jeff. He he reached out to me. He's gonna see if he can make that work. So hey, we'll uh, tell him. Andy, we you're still muted. We're trying we, we can't hear anything. We're gonna fix it here. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. So uh when it comes to those saddle tramp, we'd love to have them here. You know. You know, we built this ra- rally based on hometown values. You know what I mean? That's that's kind of, and, and again, you know, I, I don't want anybody to think I'm speaking for anybody else. I know Kyle's online. But for us, it, it, it was built about because we know our we know our town here. And we, we know about the ride. And it was something that was uniquely Eureka. And, and, and Kyle's been on board with this. And, and, and with him having a sister store here. Which I think, Kyle, you've got some announcements about that that I think are huge. I mean, you're if you're into Harley stuff. stuff and merchandise, Kyle is the best in the country during Spring Fling because he has a huge section in his store up here where he does a half price sale. No, I don't. I, I think in the volume he does and stuff like that, that's a big part of Spring Fling. And 
I mean, let, let's let Kyle tell us what he's got going on in his events. How about that, Kyle? Well, are y'all good with me uh, chiming in? Absolutely. We, we're we pretty unstructured, and it's just kind of <laughs> whoever cool. can get a word in edgewise, get with it. All right. Well, I do uh, got to hop off here pretty quickly, so I do appreciate it. Uh, so what Jeff was talking about, we've got a, a outlet store at Pine Mountain across from our main Eureka Harley store. And it's going to be full of half off merchandise. Uh, Melody, she buys all of her merchandise and she's like the best in the business. She's a hawk. She's always finding good deals. So people that are coming to town are going to have a great opportunity to pick up uh, some new threads at a value. And then this year we booked out the all out dino drags. Some of uh, Mike's buddies up there in Missouri, they got the, the dino machine. So Friday and Saturday, Eureka, man, you can go hook your motorcycle up to the dino and get a little competitive. Uh, so we're excited to bring them on board and uh, fill up the parking lot. We got some great vendors coming in. Uh, another exciting announcement, Polly's Burgers open at our complex. So uh, we are a uh, entertainment district temporarily. So we'll be able to have people get buy beer and walk around the property uh which is cool and then uh we got some spring fling specific t-shirts that melody had designed so brand new design they're on our flyer if you want to check out pigtrailhd.com and go to our event section or uh <clears throat> on our facebook page we've shared it out and advertising it so uh that's some of the exciting stuff and rogers you know everybody likes to get out and ride their motorcycles saturday i'm gonna have demo rides here so people can come demo ride a motorcycle. We're going to make it a little bit of a longer route. So they're going to get a good 20 miles on the bike and get a real good feel for it. Um, and then Friday of the rally, if anybody's interested in an adventure ride, uh, TJ, the Andre one, is going to be leading the kick and rocks ride. Um, that's going to be pretty cool. So check that out. And Friday at Rogers, the Christian Motorcycle Association, they're going to be doing a free breakfast over here. Uh, so if you want to start your morning with a free breakfast and then hit the roads, uh, come see us down here in, at, at Rogers, y'all. All right. So uh, I'm not the only one that's done the dino drags. I've actually put my bike on them before. And uh, I raced Jerry from Wagonator's Wacky Crusade, who's in the chat tonight. Jerry, are you guys coming to Spring Fling? Uh, give us a shout out there in the chat let us know if you guys are coming down but we raced and he did outrun me i have to admit but it was for charity and uh he does have a little slightly yeah. bigger motor than me so that's what i'm gonna blame it on good job jerry <laughs> but uh but kyle if you'll loan me a 121 i'll i'll give him a rematch i got a 135 you got 135 i can put on the dyno it's on the showroom all right get somebody buddy, to bring that got... thing over and put that on the dyno and i'll record it <laughs> and uh kyle you got stuff saturday too right yeah so uh we got the saddle up with sandoval ride it did sell out but uh he's gonna be ending here in rogers so if uh, anybody wants to come hang out with adam here at the end of the day he's gonna be giving a bike away and uh, there will be some other chances to win he's gonna be giving away one of his uh lodging yeah. So even if you're not going on the ride, uh, you can buy into that. And all the proceeds from that were uh, given it to the CVMA. So the goal is to raise 30 grand for them, help some veterans out, um, which we're pretty excited about. Uh, 200 riders already sold it out. So uh, it's a pretty cool deal. And then right. Rogers, man. Rogers, we're going to have a, a huge selection of new and used motorcycles. We got a ton of the 24s, man, every color you could think of. You know, come put your hands on them, drool on them. I'm here to make some dreams happen. I got a great used bike selection, man. You know, everybody gets caught up on uh, what it takes to own. I promise you, if you give us a shot, we'll make it easy to own. Well, this whole, this whole month, you've got something special going on down there. Like, Oh, yeah. Special. Yeah, so we got a, a, a promotion. It's triple no. No down payment, no interest, 90 days, no payments for 120 days. So you could come enjoy spring fling and not have to spend your money on your, you know, down payment or your first payment. Go enjoy most of the summer before you make any payments. So, you know, we got a lot of tools to get you on a bike. Uh, not only those advertisements, but my team's creative. We work hard for our customers uh, to try to structure the deal and 
you know, get people enjoying new Harleys, used Harleys, whatever floats your boat. So, sounds like Jeff's been eyeballing that no, no, no deal. He's, he seems well, pretty, uh, he's, 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 you know he's, he's, it seems like he's paying attention to what you got going on there, Kyle. I you, need him, I, you, need, you, you need to get him in a corner and pin him down. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I'm telling you, I'll be straight up honest with you, man. I mean, we could not do spring fling or do anything that we didn't do. If we didn't have our local dealer to help us out with these things. And I'm telling you, Kyle's, a, I'm an old school dinosaur mf -er, You know what I mean? Facebook friendly. And, and people that do what they say they're going to do and want to build stuff from the core are local people. Kyle's family is from here, man. He knows what he does. He runs a quality show. If he if somebody feels like they're upset set, or jilted, I happened to read one of his reviews the other day about somebody said something they didn't feel like they were right. The first person that answered him was Kyle. That's being a man. I'm going to deal business with people that are men. I shake Kyle's hand. He does what he's going to do. I think he's a great representative of this community, and we value his relationship. So I want him to be successful because that's what makes Spring Fling successful. This place was built on the values of Arkansas and the values of a small family in a small town. That's what makes this place wonderful on top of the riding. He's got his new restaurant opening up, Polly's and stuff like that. Hey, I'm telling you what, man. I'm just going to drop some names. There's a new pub up here in Eureka. We've heard about it. Uh, it's called McGarity's Pub. It's, it's open up. Marshall and them's got a Wagyu thing over at Rockin' Pig, man. He's got his uh, meat line coming out there along with Polly, so he's kicking it. There's a new restaurant right on top of Eureka Springs Live called Peckers. You know what I mean? Imagine that. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be a real good chicken place. I mean, there, every year there's something new that happens out here. That's what's great about Eureka Springs. And uh, maybe and I got, got long the staples, right man. You got the, the Cat House and the Boyums, the, you know, Switchback Bar. Y'all got it going on, dude. People that come to this rally have a lot to look forward to. You know, the riding's great. The food's great. The bars are great. And it's a, it's a killer community. So, And we're all working together. So that being said, hey, man, can I say something about the, how, how Eureka Springs and Kyle and the, the other events that are coming up here, and then I'll let Carrie go real quick. Carrie, you here? I'm here. Oh, thank you. I, hey, listen, we're trying to I'm talk, Carrie. Yeah. Carrie, it's all right. Carrie, I'm just telling you, it's all right with your mom on the motorcycle milk. Oh, okay. I know. We're working on that. We're working hey, so, on it. Uh, up here <laughs> with up here with this rally we couldn't do it without andy and carrie so just to tell you what's going on at the cat house so the cat house of course is where miss spring fling is going to be again it's it's been every year friday night best dressed uh biker chick uh saturday night uh bikini contest must be present both nights to win it's 500 dollars in cash a trip to mexico this year we'll hook that up uh we have bands starting on wednesday night going all the way through to sunday afternoon you have uh, uh, you have uh, vendors, which we've never really done in the parking lot this year. We have uh, Papa's Leather Barn. We got Mexi Phil with the bandanas. We have a detailer, a bike detailer. We have the Arkansas, Missouri DOT here with Look Twice for Bikers. Uh, so the cat house is going to be an entertainment uh, extravaganza this time. We always got your free parking to come in there. Um, uh, We've got food. Uh, town's going to be swamped, but we have we have multiple food places to come. Again, bands all weekend. Uh, and then one quick announcement. The last minute, man, we put together a bike show. It's going to be at Switchback Carry. I'll tell you about that. I don't want to preempt that. I just want to shout out to uh, uh, Ray at uh, Witchcraft Cycles and them. They, they did this last minute. Carrie's going to tell you about it and stuff like that. But Eureka Springs is going to be off the hook this year. Everybody on all sides of the city are going to be there and got something going on. Look at their individual events or go to springflingrally.com. We'll put as many events up there as we can. We'll try to get all Kyle stuff on there, uh, Switchback stuff on there, Legends, all those people. Uh, we got all the rides. There's more poker runs at this rally. You might as well call this the poker run rally. Everybody wants their own little run this time. But Andy's got the hog wild run going out on Saturday. That's always been the really run of the spring fling. But the more the merrier. Come up here. 
yeah, it's a, it's a good route run. Uh, but I, I guess we'll throw it over to Carrie, man. And just Wait, come real, spring fling and just laugh. The weather's going to be great. Real I think Steve's got a question. Yeah. Jeff? Yeah. For us single guys, you forgot mm-hmm. the most important thing at the cat house. And that's those cat house girls. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you that. We, again, we're going to come loaded, man. We've got some extra special ones coming in. And, and listen, man. Here, here, man, it's more about their character and personality. We try to get the best every year, uh, and it's that's part of being at the cat house, Steve. You know where you'll be, man. I don't have to play that off, man. I'll see yeah. you here, bro. Steve, make sure that you bring your di- or your um, your bike dirty because I've got some girls that will be washing them. Oh, yeah, Carrie's loaded, Yeah, too. i got some yeah. kids, the kids see motor babes coming in to wash bikes, so bring them dirty. Hey, and Carrie will tell, it, tell you about it. The other thing we really want to make a big deal of this year, we really want to promote, we got the parade coming into it. There's no motorcycle parades that happen in Eureka Springs ever. But we have a parade that has happened every year now. It's the biggest thing at Spring Fling Rally. It goes from the switch back to here. It's going to be extra special this year. We really want to make that something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So make sure we're kickstands up. Carrie will tell you about that. Carrie, take it over. Yeah. All right. So... Um, yeah, we've got that that parade that will be Friday, but I'm going to start it out that Tuesday. I've got um, my vendors that will be kind of getting set up and everything, so we're going to get this party started. Um, but actually, Thursday, um, I am going to do the kickoff uh, with beers and boobies, so I hope that I see a bunch of those coming out on Switchback um, with live music with Gypsy Outcast. Um, this gal seriously rocks so she's from kansas city i've got her from four to seven um along with my vendors i got a bunch of vendors that are coming in uh it keeps on growing um each year with them i've got um two wheels down by her pal the kc motor babes um pig daddy um they do a bunch of detailing um and then i've got the wind rider patches i just got a, a bunch of uh fun and really cool vendors coming through um and then friday i have live music all day i got naked jake uh donnie Kuntz, uh gypsy outcast again they they're going to be there from 47 um and then we've got the moto meetup but in between we as jeff was saying we have decided that we're going to do a bike show and i have um I, this happened just like an hour ago uh that witchcraft um cycle works they're gonna do they're gonna host it so we're working on details on that now we'll get that out tomorrow um about the classes and everything but that's going to be a big thing um and then we're gonna uh do the parade from uh start from uh ca- or i'm sorry from switch back at seven o'clock and then we're working on the route so that you can experience um eureka springs and then come down to the cat house and then just you know continue your party um yeah and that's that. what no, I said yeah. Can I get a yeah? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Keep the party going. Um, and then Saturday we have our poker run, the Hog Wild, which has been um, you know, really, really cool. We've got some good uh roads that we want you guys to experience. Um, a raffle and you know, um again we've got the ladies that are gonna be watching your bikes and we got live music again. We got Vince Turner, who's super, super cool. He's like the Bob Seeger down to your classic rock and everything. I'm Naked Jake and Mr. Orange, who is a new band that is outside of um, Eureka Springs, who, you know, really, really has a cool show. Um, And then we have, with the Moto Meetup, um, I just wanna tell you that you guys have a opportunity to meet Bert the Dog, and we've got um, Riding in the Ozarks, we got Firecracker that's gonna be there. Um, Jay Soresby, we've got Witchcraft, we got, you know, we got Riding with the Mermaid, we've got the Badgers, we've got a bunch of uh, motor vloggers that will be there and that you, this will give you a chance to meet them um, and then kind of get up personal and do the parade. So we've got, we've got so much going on that it's going to be a good time. Like the whole, the whole package, you have Rick Springs, Cat House, everybody, Harley, um, Switchback. I mean, it's, it's, it's getting bigger and better every year. I'm excited about I got, it. I got more, but I'm going to like announce it later. No, it's okay. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, you know. so, so, hey, Mike, so check this out. So this, just to, some of the key points, and, and I'll tell you from doing this rally, I think that's what the public likes to hear. So 
but Kyle's deal where he offers his little uh, room in the back that your uh, uh, you know, his overstock stuff and he's cutting half the price. I'm telling you, the Badgers have mentioned it. A lot of people have mentioned it. it's a great deal for any kind of apparel you want there. It's a great thing to see. You got uh, Adam and him giving away a Harley Davidson. I understand that the 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 200 riders is full to capacity now, but you know that somebody's going to win that Harley down there, and that money's going to veterans. Please support that fucking deal. Excuse my language. The uh, carrying them, carrying them, got some stuff out there uh, uh, going on with the bike show. It's the first time that we we just did this in the last hour, man. It's going to be a pretty big deal. Uh, the details, like Kerry said, will come out tomorrow. Um, uh, um, Kyle and them, if y'all don't know, they open a restaurant. Polly's is actually right next door to them up there at Pine Mountain. So not only is he going to have the entertainment going up, uh, up there in Eureka Springs and the dino drags and all that, they got, you got a new restaurant up there. You got to try, you know what I mean? And, uh, so, I mean, it's really, a, you know, uh, you know, nowadays people can find reasons to be adverse or whatever, but the thing is. What, what the, the few of us that have been doing this for years now, folks, man, sprinkling has grown organically because of the people that you're talking to right now. And we want to make this about the better rally and a growing rally each and every year. Come experience the things that we know that happen every day and come see us, man. Well, we're, we're, we're definitely all here, you know, a big fan of sprinkling and we're coming. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be, if, if things work well, I'm going to be riding a, a demo bike for me to do a review on and stuff. So I'll be riding something different this year, maybe. So that'll whole be different experience for me. Um, but uh, we're looking forward to it. We're planning on getting down there Thursday night. And I want to say thank you to all of you guys. I know Kyle's already stepped away, but Carrie and Andy and Jeff and Angela and everybody for your hospitality, inviting us into your town, trying to make it easy for us to come and see and be a part of everything. And you guys make everybody, everybody, not just the moto vloggers or the YouTubers, but everybody feel welcome. You know, that's part of what I like about that small town. It's not like Daytona where nobody knows nobody. You know, everybody's just kind of wandering around looking to see what to do. You know, spring fling is still, it's getting bigger, but it's still small enough that you guys get to treat people and say hi to them. And you see them year after year and you still know who they are and you're still out there mingling with the guests, helping, you know, direct traffic or park bikes or slinging burgers or bringing drinks or whatever you got to do to make people happy. And that's one reason we love going to this Nick Don. I don't know what to tell you, man, besides uh, you've got a motorcycle, bitch, friend of mine. Can so, I tell uh, a story about the first time I met Carrie? Uh, you can tell. I would, yeah. yeah. You go ahead and tell this story. Was there alcohol involved? There was. Oh, that makes it even better. So, being from Kansas City, I had messaged her, didn't know who she was, just said, hey, I, I drive by your facility, don't know what the hell it is, but it looks like a blast. And so she filled me in on, you know, hey, we're a bar and so on and so forth. I said, well, hey, I'll tell you what, when we come down, I got a crew from Kansas City, and we're going to get stop at your joint. And, and, and have yeah. Uh, yeah. And so we got down there, and she, it wasn't open yet. We got there too early. I messaged her. But. Five minutes later, <laughs> with a big old smile on her face, she took care of all of us. Mm -hmm. Now, you go to most places, most parts of this country, that ain't going to happen. So that's <laughs> testament to how how much these two work their ass off to show everybody mm -hmm. a great time. Yeah. If the gates close and I hear a burnout on the street, I'll open <laughs> up the gate. Yeah. And then we'll all get that cold beer. <laughs> 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 yeah. So I'm not going to show pictures. <laughs> yeah. But I got a couple pictures from that day. Okay. <laughs> Nick's yeah. gonna let a little thing like work interfere with spring fling. I mean, I, I don't know what to say about that, and that's just not right. Uh, Bustin says he hasn't got to meet you yet, Carrie, but I'm sure he will this uh, this year on Friday night because he'll be at the uh, Moto Meetup and do the parade with us. I know he's yeah, coming awesome. into town, so you'll get to meet Bustin Knuckles this year. And uh, and and Chase says Carrie's way nicer than Andy. I, I mean, Andy's never been mean to me, and he's brought me plenty of beers. He's he works his ass off too. Yeah. Just bring a hockey that. puck with you. Bring a he's hockey puck with you. Right Andy. Now. <laughs> Andy will be nice. Bring a hockey puck. Man. Uh, yeah. I told him to be nice. 
<laughs> It'll be nice. Uh-huh. Well, you guys, you know, if you got anything else you want to say about spring fling, but you know, I, I just want to tell people that we just got back from Daytona and Steve just went to Arizona bike week. And, you know, it was my first time at Daytona and I've done bike fest and bikes, blues and barbecue and spring fling for years now. And it's a totally different environment. Not that people aren't having a party and having a good time here, but it's at Daytona. It kind of feels like it's a bike show or a bar or go down to the speedway and watch the slingshots drive through where all the motorcycles are supposed to be, you know, and, and stuff like that. And there's some great things there, but there's only one scenic ride. And I was there eight days and I had to do it twice because I was jonesing for a good ride, you know? <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, and, and you get down to Eureka Springs, somebody said, well, which way should I go out of there to find a good road? And I said, you know, pick a direction and go, you'll find a good road. You can't not find a good road. Well, yeah. and Mike, I think you hit on it directly. So the spring fling really grew, man, from like a, we were just talking about it one time in a bar here in Eureka Springs. And the thing is, it grew organically. And it grew from people who rode bikes, who, who actually do the thing. And it grew from a bunch of wild women here in Eureka. I promise you. I mean, the first, the first weekend we had, that's how Miss Spring Fling came up. It was a last minute thing. And Miranda, the most beautiful six foot three blonde chick that is the the granddaughter of Turpentine Creek, won the first Miss Spring Fling contest just because we had such a blast. She came, and that's just Eureka. So. This thing has grown organically from a bunch of guys that really ride bikes up here, like the mountains, can handle the mountains. You're, I'd say better than novice riders and a bunch of wild women. How can that go wrong, bro? Steve, you got to agree on that. Absolutely. <laughs> I agree hey. on that, too. Hey, Gary's like- one of them. Gary's <laughs> one of them. Hell, hell yeah. <laughs> I, so I'm, I'm at Arizona Bike Week, right? And Sunday morning, I go down to Cape Creek where the bars are. And the roadhouse has quite a few uh, vendor tents. And as soon as I kind of told them where I was from, they're like, I hear Arkansas just kick ass. And I'm like, mm-hmm. you can't believe it, guys. It's it's some of the best. Ri- I, I don't know how you make it better. Everything's mm-hmm. a curve. If you like curves, yeah. it's yeah. heaven. Every road is good, and you just hope to get lost so that you discover another one. So that's and that's one thing too that we that that's why we're down here, and um and that we love to like tell people, hey, you know what, get out there, enjoy the roads, and then come on back, and you know I'll I'll take care of some road dust and you know chase it with a a cold beer and some good music and stuff. So, but I mean, you any road you go on, it's going to be a good it's going to be a good one. Well, yeah, you know. Uh, it's back to the hometown uh, philosophy here, too. The other thing is, to just like when you leave here and go outside of Eureka Springs, switch back. Your little neighborhood bar out there that's just going to be popping. If you go out there, there's some other bars out there as you cross the Missouri border. And when you come in town, it doesn't matter which way you go. On the way down to Kyle's, down there in Rogers, there's some places down there. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just you, you can't go wrong. There's beautiful restaurants all over the place. I'm telling you, if you like pie like me and Steve do, there's some great pie places all over the place. You know what I mean? I'm trying to watch my figure, so we're going to lay off the pie this year. So, Oh, that pie. Okay. Yeah, that, no, come on. Let's keep it clean. Gary's on here, man. I can do <laughs> But, you know, I, I, re- I just rode that new Rogue Glide ST at Vegas. And, and I was talking to some of the guys from Harley Corporate there at Vegas because, I mean, I, I was in the room with the CEO, the VP of design, the global vice president of marketing, engineers, and this and that. I'm like, how come I never see no you guys at, you know, Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue? You guys are part – that's one of your big rallies. You give away a bike there. And they and only one of the guys that were standing in the group had actually been to Eureka Springs and rode that area. and. And I mean, they were talking to Brad Richards, the VP of design for Harley Davidson. Ultimately, in the end, he's responsible for all the design changes on the bikes and everything else. And Brad's into old school bikes, too. And, you know, he's a really cool guy. If you ever get to see any interviews with him or anything else. And he asked him, he was like, well, if I went, where would I want to stay? And he said, without a doubt, Brad, knowing you, you want to stay in Eureka Springs. 
You'll mm-hmm. love that area. That's the, the kind of thing that he would be into. And I've been trying to talk him into coming and riding with us for Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue and stuff because this area is just so amazing to ride in. And I told them guys, I said, yo, we were riding that bike on the track and, and we were talking about it and how I was dragging the feelers on the kickstand and, you know, the footboards and stuff. And I'm like, this bike would get me in trouble back home. Cause I would be, it, it'd be like riding a racetrack full time everywhere I went. Right. As far as I could go, because you could have that much fun on these roads. Cause they're those kinds of roads. Hey, where's the anchor? Oh, it's out of there. Oh. You're, you're, you know, Arkansas Dragon, Pig Trail, the Moonshiners Run. There's all kinds of great roads. I love the road across from Cassville over there, the big scenic outlook going toward uh, Forsyth. Uh, when you come down to Forsyth to go across Peels Ferry. I mean, there, you know, two or three of my favorite roads of all time anywhere in the country are right there, you know. And yeah. I've been to Sturgis. I've rode Iron Mountain Road and Needles Highway. I rode the Loop now at Ormond Beach. You know, and uh, when it comes to curvy roads for people that want to ride, this rally has everything you need. There's a lot. Yeah, we've got like the Grand Canyon of Arkansas. The, um, I mean, every single road is awesome. No, that's part of the experience. You know, and the, the, you know, the other thing too is, man, is because you still got that small town atmosphere. So when you walk around the places, mm-hmm. Not only are you experiencing Eureka, you're meeting the people that own these joints. I mean, Andy and Carrie are going to be there at their place. Andy and Carrie, I'm telling you, when they close down their joint, they're going to be at the places at night. They're going to experience the rally. They're going to be right there with you. Uh, you're not talking about just owners that are here to, to get as much profit as they can during the rally. You're talking about owners that are actively in this lifestyle. So come join. Have a party with us, man. I, I'm short on time, man. I hate to say that, man, but I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, the spring cleaning is growing every year, man. It's grown from, just like I said, it's guys that ride bikes. Some of the better riders come to this rally. I mean, the, uh, I, 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 we got some stunt riders coming in. You know what I mean? They're going to they're gonna be a part of the parade. I've heard there's some drag race challenges. I don't think we want to talk about that right now. It's kind of some under-the-cuff stuff, you know what I mean? But talk to us. You know what I mean? So there's some stuff going on out there. You know what I mean? So, You've got to get it on. Yeah. There's yeah, more you'll to see. Have. I mean, come see some Eureka Springs, man. You'll have a blast. Uh, Spring Fling 2024. And uh, Jeff signing off. Steve, Mike, we love you, man. Come see us. All right. Thank you, Jeff, sure. for your time. Right, Tell so Angela we said hi. You guys Spring Fling's in the house. All right, Carrie, you got anything else? You done? No, I look forward to seeing you guys. All right. Well, we can't wait to see you. Weather's good. Right. We'll be in Thursday night. If the weather's bad Thursday night, then I'll see you Friday morning. Awesome. You'll be the first stop as always. We'll be here. Okay. I'll get you out of here, Jeff. All right. All right. Goodbye. All right. So uh, I've got to, if somebody else who is set up for streaming that's a, got a channel or something that wants to jump on here and talk a little bit about Spring Fling with us, somebody that's been there or somebody that wants to know more about it, let me know. I'll uh, try and throw you a link on Instagram or something like that. So, man, Steve, sounds like they've got a hell of a lineup going on for us this year. Every year, this thing just gets bitter, bigger and bigger and better and more things going on. I mean, there's uh, an adventure bike ride this year, so Adam's ride. You know, we've got the parade. I, I don't know. I think Saturday, I mean, you know, I've thought about, like, do I want to do a ride? But there's so much going on. I don't know that. I want to compete with everything else. I don't want people to have to choose between too many things. And I think part of it is like letting, you know, people not feeling like this is an event rally. It's a come do your thing. We're here for whatever you want to do. Uh, You know, I may, I may do the pig trail this year and swing back up through OARC and across over toward Harrison or something else. Cause I'm going to be riding a bike that I want to do a real review on. And I want to show people what it's, what that bike is like to ride it someplace with curvy roads. You know, yeah. some people think you got to have some kind of little sport bike to get down and jiggy with it on a curvy road, but that's, that's not the case. No. So, um, you know, yeah, I'm think, looking forward to it. I think a big part of the success of this event is the fact that we've got two, three count Kyle, People that ride motorcycles, this isn't like a city city hall meeting 
with a bunch of city officials trying to put a motorcycle rally on. These are motorcyclists putting a rally on. Are you talking about bike fest? <laughs> <laughs> well, Oops, did I say that out loud? Now, some of the people involved in bike fest do ride and stuff, but I think yeah. there's, I think that's one of the things is it's a, a committee deal and not everybody on the committee gets the lifestyle, like lives the lifestyle to really get the lifestyle yeah. at bike fest. And I know they're working on that and they're trying to, you know, help people understand and they're trying to learn from other rallies and stuff. Witchcraft said, send us an invite. So what are the dates for uh, Kevin says? Well, it is, I think the 18th or 17th through the 21st. Yeah. yeah. It's that weekend. Just uh, we're, we're like, does it start on Wednesday? Man. That might be the 16th. I can't remember. I, I, I think it starts on Wednesday, the 17th, but I, we're not going to get there till the 18th. Me and too. then Friday's the 19th. And I think Saturday's the 20th. Isn't that right? They're doing 420 on Saturday this year. Ah. Wink, wink. Let's see. I'm trying to look over here. Yep. To, had to look around the count, camera at the calendar. But, yeah, the 20th is on a Saturday. Not that I'll be doing the 420 stuff, but, you know, I'm not judging. Y'all do what you yeah. what you are into, whatever's your thing. That's, and I'm that's get, the beauty of this rally is it's really you can do whatever you want to do. If you want to just lay low and chill, you can. If you want to kick, kick it up in the high gear, they got – all the fun and excitement you could ever want. I'm uh, I'm getting the link here for our friends. Hey, while you're doing that, real so one thing. So here's a, again, this I think this is so important. So I just got back from Arizona Bike Week, and I don't know all the specifics, so I don't want to talk too much. But apparently, there's a little disagreement or you know power struggle on exactly how that bike that bike shows. Uh, going there's kind of two different areas there's cape creek there's west world um that's the beauty of this you know you've got two of the bigger bar owners in town and they're hand in hand and right they, they understand that it's better for us to be a team get along than to be opponents right let's pull in the same direction instead of exactly. pulling away pulling fighting over it and you know making it more controversial or more difficult for people to enjoy you know and that's what I said i mean i get people ask all the time about doing a ride with me but the, adam's got a ride going on saturday there's another ride on friday i don't want to make it where people have to choose you know that kind of thing i just want people to go enjoy have a good time you know i mean if you're not into one of those other rides and you want to go do the pig trail on Saturday, I think that's probably what me and my crew are going to go do, go hit some scenic roads, but everybody can do their own thing. The mill's a great ride, you know, go to the, go to the dealership, get you some breakfast, go head out toward the mill. You'll enjoy that. Then maybe head down to the pig trail. You can't go wrong. Whichever way you go, you head up into Missouri, go across from Cassville to the uh, flat, the flat Eagle. Uh, but the giant cock is, I mean, rooster. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's going to be a good time no matter what. Absolutely. Yeah. Another little fun little stop is the cave bar in uh, Missouri. And uh, that's always a fun stop. We sometimes hit that on our way home. I think that's over in Pineville, Missouri. Well, you know, there's great riding everywhere. I, I don't know what all they've got going on. Hey, where are you going? Come here. You get your ass in here. Somebody peeked around the corner. I'm going to put her on camera now. Busted. Go ahead and put that low-cut shirt on and stick step around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's our first contestant from uh, Miss uh, Cat House. M Miss Spring Fling? Miss Spring Fling, no. yeah. She said no. <laughs> uh, Bill, Ray Ray, I sent you guys a text, a link on Facebook, and I think you must have got it because I, I said it to everybody because I wasn't sure which count you guys were under. Hello, hello, Ray Ray. Hello, everybody. How are you? Good. Want to say hey? <laughs> hey, Ray. I'm here.
Hey, Bill, my cup's bigger than yours. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, we got asked about an hour ago about doing a bike show, and we said yes. Hell um, yeah. I, I, th that may be a little bit of my fault. I didn't tell them who, but I told them somebody asked if there was going to be a bike show when I was talking to them earlier in their day. And they said, yeah. you know what? We If if we're going to do that, we should get Witchcraft Cycle Works involved. And I just let it go. I was like, that'll be interesting when that phone call happens. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> Sorry, the bus was coming and I just jumped. <laughs> no, it is all good. Uh, you got, That's up you guys' alley anyway. Well, yeah. Uh, you've, you've you've won more than one. Uh, it, it, it it's it's more fun just to compete, uh, or you know, just to you know be in it. I don't care about the trophies. Right. It's 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 cool to meet like minded people that are into building their bikes and customizing them and things like that. When that's your thing, and you get to hang around for two hours at a bike show and talk to other people, and even if their bike doesn't w win, they might have done this one little thing that is so unique and so cool. You know, maybe. It wasn't something everybody else even noticed, but maybe as a builder or a customizer, you notice, and you mm -hmm. realize, oh, that's not that's not stock, but they made it look mm -hmm. like it was part of the bike, like it was factory, and you know it's not. Yeah. Well, he's more than qualified, that's for sure. Uh, boy, if I got you fooled. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get Ray Race Chopper done in time for, for this weekend, but uh i guess i'm probably going to take the witch down at least everybody seems to like that one my road glide's gonna have a brand new paint job so i'm excited about uh maybe i might I might throw that in there bring it bring the new paint job yeah, lone cowboy that. adventure says they're leaving kc friday morning um had all my vacation stuff uh um dates messed up i've never been in the cat house well Everybody should be in the cat house at least once. It's a lot more fun to be in the cat house than it is the dog house. I promise you that. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Well, in between the, the between the switchback and the, the cat house, oh my god, uh, I lost count of how many uh, content creators have signed up for this. Uh, yeah, and actually, I've got to get. I thought I had it on there, then I saw it posted, and I don't have it on there. I got to get Road Rush's logo on there too. Road Rush Nation's going to be there. The Badgers, everybody here in the stream, JS, Busted Knuckles, XAN, um, Chasing Adventures. Uh, you know, he probably, he he probably because he's new doesn't want to throw it out there, but I'm sure he'll be around there. You know, uh, Steve was like, don't put my logo on there. I don't really count because what are you up to, Steve? What's your, what's your count now? Hey, Arizona Bike Week was good to me. Um, I've got 62 subscribers and I had my first video go over a thousand. Hey, hey, hey. moving up in the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? I mean, most importantly, is like, do it because you have a passion, because you're enjoying it, because you like what you're doing. Uh, I mean, if you want to do this because you want to make money, don't do motorcycle content. Do something that everybody can relate to. Um, but, you know, if you're just doing this because you want to have a good time and you want to talk about the things that you're passionate about or share with people the things you're doing, then more power to you. I, I heard somebody talking the other day on a podcast, and they were talking about how crappy the content on youtube is for quality and this and that and and you know they're entitled to their own opinion but to me youtube is the wild west and none of us get to decide what it should or shouldn't be it's what the collective decides what people want to watch is what they'll see you know and and you know if you're getting your feed is getting filled up with content that you think's crappy then, you know, I don't Scroll. know what, to, you know, yeah, keep scrolling or, or maybe you should, maybe you're looking for something that nobody else is interested in making. I don't know what your expectations are, but you know, YouTube's not just a, a, an artist type content creator, you know, place. It's a community place. I mean, some videos like my channel is more informational. You know, I, I do reviews or installs or things like that. I'm not, you know, particularly funny. You know, maybe if you get enough liquor in me, I can get you to laugh. But, 
you know, uh, tell once in a while a witty comment or something, but I'm not here for that. I'm not trying to be, you know, a stand up comedian or an entertainer. I'm just sharing what I'm doing, sharing my opinion. And, you know, who's to say that that's not the right thing to do or not what YouTube should be about? You know, everybody well, should be doing their own thing. We, we're here mostly because you told us we had to. <laughs> <laughs> After a couple years of uh, prying and pushing, <laughs> we finally started one. I, you know, all I told you was it was nothing to be afraid of. Um, you know, I think you guys do some interesting stuff. I think there's an audience out there for you. They just have to discover you. And that's the way it is with YouTube. I think there's an audience probably for everything on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, there's someone out there somewhere that's going to be into whatever content is no matter whether it's you know somebody made the comment to me about a, a particular channel and i don't and they were surprised that i don't really watch that channel and it's not that they don't make good content but when i watch their channel i feel like i'm watching tv you know you know these shots are set up you know this is this way it's high production value and it's it's very high quality but it's not what i get on youtube for if i wanted that i could go watch the latest you know Jason Momoa movie or, you know, Keanu Reeves or whatever, and, and have that kind of production quality. I don't get on YouTube for that. You know, it's a different for me. I want it to be a different experience. I want it to be real people seeing what real people are doing in the real world. It's reality TV with it still being reality TV. You know, I mean, not yeah. the scripted shit, not that people don't script their videos or think them out and try and make them, you know, collectively, you know, do a good job of presenting them, but it's not the majority of it's not for just, you know, because we're in this to see how much money we can make with this story. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it, it's YouTube's an opportunity for you to watch whatever you want to watch and what you can create, whatever you want to create, if you want to have a channel. And uh, I mean, that's what attracted me, but I still think YouTube's in, in its infancy. You know, a lot of people I talk to are like, they. when I tell them I have a YouTube channel, they don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So I think there's still going to be a tremendous amount of growth um, as we go forward. You know, I, I have to make a confession that I don't watch a lot of YouTube. Uh, I, I'm a content creator. We're on here and, you know, we're doing our best, but... I actually don't watch a lot of it because I'm out here in the shop working most of the time. And, yeah. and I wish I had more time to watch some of the stuff that everybody's putting out there. Cause there is some really interesting stuff that some of these guys are putting out there. Yeah. It's a, it's a double-edged sword when you start becoming a content creator, because you, I mean, I, it, it takes you longer to do the things you do when you stop to film them and you set mm -hmm. the camera up and you try and get the angles right. And you think about what you want to say because you don't want to stumble through it and go, um, uh, uh, um, and you know, things like <laughs> that. that. <laughs> well, but you, you know, you do stop and think about it. And the more you do it, the better you get at the ad hoc stuff. But, you you try and make you make an effort trying to make it good for the audience and not be an idiot and that means taking time to think about okay well what do i want to show them oh we don't want to miss this part they need to see this because that helps tie together what we're building or what we're telling or what we're talking about and you know so it's no matter what the quality level of the content is where everybody's working at it and it takes you longer to do whatever it is. If you're trying to record it, and that means that's less time for consuming. I used to consume a lot more content than I do now. Um, but between work and stuff like that, I just don't get to consume as much. I try and watch, you know, videos about how to lower a soft tail, things like that. <laughs> Arizona bike week. Yeah. You know, when I get a chance, um, I don't get, I, I feel, I feel your pain. I don't get to watch stuff as much as I would like. So we got some comments here. Uh, Jay said, I don't know how to define my channel. Just a guy trying to have fun. Absolutely. There you go. That's how we are. Yeah, you know. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. Bingo. Mike is bike life on a low or no budget. LOL. Well, I mean, that's kind of true. I mean, I am not rich. If I was rich, I'd have a 2024 in the garage already, but I don't. And I met the, you know, I've got, we've got some things going on and, 
my bike is all cleaned up and I buffed the paint and everything else. I got to finish doing the Chrome and I got to film a video and it's probably getting a for sale sign on it. And hopefully if I sell it, I'll get a 2024, but there's no, there's no guarantee of that. Hey. Hey. There she is. And Bozeman said, you better holler at me when you're down here. So we will make sure we holler at you, bro. Hey, Jess, who else is in the house, Firecracker? No more than you get on the screen. He says, what's up, Mr. Jerry Hawkins? What's up? I sent him a text yeah. the other day. We were up in KC. Yeah, Steve, what's what's up with this knuckleheads place, man, and people, like, walking around the street naked when they get thrown out of the bar? Is that typical? So, kind of anything goes there. Uh, so, as you're driving to knuckleheads, you, I mean, there's a row of houses, and I mean, they're shitholes. And I always call it the gauntlet. I go, okay, I'm going to make this left turn down the gauntlet, and you're just riding down, just praying to God, you know, like AR-15s don't start firing off at you because it's a pretty shitty part of town. But they do a great job of security and lighting up the area around it. And that. But it is a, God, it is such a kick-ass place. So is there like a bar part that you don't pay to get into that you just can go hang out in? Because our not, friends bought our friends bought tickets for a band for a concert. Okay. And there was yeah. multiple going on that night. So we went in one venue, but you couldn't go anywhere else. So I didn't know if there was ever like just a, a bar part you go into that doesn't necessarily have entertainment, doesn't necessarily cost you a okay. cover. Yeah. In the evenings, they have bands playing in two different buildings and there's like four different stages you're going to pay when the bands are there. But the magical time to go is either on a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon, about one to five. It's free to get in, ice, cold, beer, reasonably priced. And th they have open jams. And so all these great artists from Kansas City come down and just jam out, and it's just kick ass. Well, next time we get up there on an afternoon, we'll have to go do that. Uh, Jerry says, what's happening? Miss you guys. Well, if you really miss us, you could just haul your little ass down to Spring Fling, buddy. That's right. We'll be happy, we'll be happy to see you. Um, get the Great kids Tom. together. Get get the kids together. Bring the band. Come have a good time. All, uh, all the cool kids are going to be at Spring Fling. Randy Damn said, right. howdy, kids. Randy will be there. Road Rush says, Knuckleheads is a great place. Um, I mean, we went to a place up in Liberty called The Landing. Uh, we had a drink there. Then we went to Caddy. Well, we had we had margaritas first at Mexican. Yeah, El Porta or something like that. Yeah, up there in Liberty near the Texas Roadhouse, a Mexican restaurant. We had margaritas. Then we went to The Landing, had drinks. Then we later went to well, I, I got my first shot of Whistle Pig eighteen. My buddy had a bottle of that, so he whipped that stuff out. And uh, so I had a, an expensive drink at his place. Then we went to Caddyshack and had uh, pizza. Then we went to Knuckleheads. So it was a pretty lively 24 hours or so for us in Kansas City. Those are three really good venues. Really good venues. Well, we were, I mean, the, the whole purpose of the trip was to take my daughter out for breakfast on uh, Sunday. She doesn't like me to talk about her much on social media, but she turned 20 and I'm pretty proud of her. She's going to college out of state and she wanted to go to a concert in Kansas City Saturday night. So we come up and spent the night and she shared a room with us and uh, she got to go do her concert thing. We got to hang out with our friends and then we all went and had breakfast and stuff. So I got to see her on her birthday. So we found a motel that. Mike will never book again for us to stay when we go up there. You know what? You keep it up. And I'm going to book it just for the hell of it. I don't know how we got to the same place. It was the only one that had anything available. Just to rub it in. I'll go stay at my mom and dad's. That may or, not last much at, longer. Or at Bates's. Go stay at his house. Bates, got, Bates, Bates, has got ha Bates has got half a bed. <laughs> <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, sounds like the honeymoon's over. <laughs> yeah, if I'd have been in town, you guys definitely could have had one of the spare rooms. Well, we'll remember that next time. But we, I mean, my daughter was, we needed a room for my daughter too. So we just booked a ro hotel room with double beds and bunked up. And it was okay. But it was, I mean, I swear to God, if the neighbor 
two rooms down got up and flushed the toilet. You thought somebody was in your bathroom. That's how thin the walls were. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, they somebody ran a sink next door and I swear I was waiting for somebody to walk out of the bathroom after brushing their teeth. You know, I mean, it's what it sounded like they were in your room. Yeah, it was bad. Hey, we got highway Vixen checking in Ooh. on our way home from Arizona ride safe at spring fling. Uh, two wheels down was in here earlier. They're going to be a vendor at spring fling this year. They're from the Ozarks up there at the lake. So, um, yeah, this thing's just growing. KC motor babes going to be back at switchbacks, witchcraft cycle works. Did you hear that firecracker? They're putting on a bike show. Yeah. I seen that. I, well, I was out in the garage and listened to it a little bit. When's bait getting there? Thursday. I, I leave Thursday at eight 30. Okay. We'll be there the hopefully Thursday night. No, no, this thing's just this thing's just getting bigger and better every year. Mm -hmm. I mean, spring fling has always been fun, but it seems like every year a little more gets added, a few more people show up, and it's growing exponentially. Yeah. So, um, this you know who this is, honey? You see this comment here? Hoping to come down and meet you guys, even though we live in the same town. Uh, this is Doctor Jake, and I drive by his office oh. almost every day. But so he he saw in one of my videos, he said, Do you live in blah blah blah? And I said, He said this, he said something about who he was. I said, Yeah, I drive by your office all the time going home. So, um, yeah, he rides a Harley. Uh, not, are you just, um, I, he had a Pan American. Do you still have the Pan American or did you change that? I thought I saw a different bike in front of the uh office the other day. You got some blurry going on. So we'll see what he how, what he comes back with, but I, 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 Doctor Jake's a Pan Am and Sportster S, so it must have been the Sportster S I saw the other day in front of the office. Because I, I knew he had the Pan Am. More than one bike? That's just crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> right. How many you got running? <laughs> uh, nine are licensed and legal. Okay, but are they all running right now? Yes. Okay. So that's so that the tenth one's on the rack. Uh, actually, we got 11 that are running, but only nine are licensed and legal. Mm -hmm. But there's room oh. for more. Please, he had please, a donate. please donate to the Bill and Ray Ray Need More Bikes Fund. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Jake said he had a V-Rod, too, but he sold that in July. Um, we booked our room in October. Fling is our favorite public rally. Um, booked a room, room in October for what? What's going on in October that I've missed? They, probably booked they booked their room. Oh, oh, back in, in October. Yeah. Oh, okay. I book, I book my shit early, too. I. Mm -hmm. Oh, it fills uh, up. I've already booked Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue. Hey, we got a house for Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue. Yeah, we booked a uh, house this year. It sleeps 16 people. You're going to sleep with 16 people? It's got, it sleeps. It has enough Man, beds for 16. Be <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fun. How do you feel about that? Uh, I, I'd hate well, to see the bar uh, tab for that house. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, motorcycle parts aren't cheap, so like I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks is 20 bucks. So, um, yeah, I don't, I, I, I think it's safe to say it on the live here. I, I don't want to advertise it too much in case it doesn't work out, but if it works out, uh, one of the dealerships, uh, renegade Harley Davidson, in fact, is going to loan me a 2024 model to ride all weekend at spring fling. They wanted to give me a bike for a demo ride. And I'm like, why don't I just stop and pick it up on my way to spring fling, ride it around all Northwest Arkansas all weekend and then bring it back and tell everybody what I think about riding it in the mountains, how it does. You know, that's a win-win for them because you they know you're going to love the shit out of it. Most likely. I, although I did post a video today that some people might have taken negatively. Uh, there was I was getting some people commenting and asking me what I thought about the audio on it. There's a, a vendor that puts out audio systems. They've been putting out videos about how bad the stock system is. And, I mean, if Steve, you know, when you bought your Road Glide, the stock audio was nothing to brag about. And and it's not changed any. And that was kind of my point of the videos is if you knew, if you bought a, a touring bike in the last 10 years, you know what to expect. Cause it's not, I mean, the, the head unit 
looks better, but the volume level is not really any significant difference than it has been for stock in the last 10 years. But like all good things, there's aftermarket options and, you know, there's upgrades to Harley sells and everything else. And, you know, some people will say, you know, oh, for that kind of money, that bike should have that built in. Well, that's great. But if you had had the best suspension built in, had the best audio built in, it had the best seat built in, and it had the 18 inch bars built in, had, you know, all this stuff built in, it would be even more expensive. And not every single person wants that. I mean, there are people who wear helmets and use cardos for audio and don't care about the stereo. So they're going to be of the opinion, well, why do I got to pay extra for a fancy stereo that I don't care about? So, you know, I mean, I get it from Harley's perspective as a manufacturer trying to build something that be meets most of the people's needs. But then for people like me that really want a high quality audio system, then I just have to pay extra for it. I'm okay with that. Y'all got y'all got stereos on your bikes? Maybe. Yeah, I've heard you sing. I had to get mine turned up. <laughs> I just listened to the voices in my head. <laughs> yeah, I think I think once everybody owns a Harley and kind of gets adapted to the what's going on there, realizes that they're uh, a lot of the components are for the are put on there for the masses, and then it gives you the opportunity to pick and choose what you feel is most important for, for you to enjoy riding that motorcycle. You can go out and get a new seat, new exhaust, stage one, stage four, handlebars, whatever the hell you want to do. And, and I agree with you, Mike, I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. I mean, and there's been a couple of bugs reported about the audio system losing output and having to be reset or being flashed and updated. But I mean, you know, and, and this is probably why Bill doesn't want a new bike, but everybody knows if you get the first year of something new, especially like this new 12 inch dash, there's probably going to be a few bugs here or there that didn't come out during, during testing with a small group, a small test group that's going to show up in production that they're going to have to do updates to fix. But the good thing is about electronics is most of the time that is fixed by software updates it doesn't mean you go go buy a new piece of hardware or replace a piece of hardware most of the time to fix that. And Harley's even made it now where you can do these updates at home with the USB key. So you don't even have to take it in the dealership to do it, which before meant for us driving it 80 miles one way to a dealership. Well, even with the bugs, they're still more reliable than some of my bikes. <laughs> True. So Melissa said they are so ready for spring fling. Can't wait to ride, relax and unwind. Absolutely. And, and Nick's got a sinister system like me. He talk is always garbage. You know, he's okay. He gets it. Um, road rush sinister sound is the way to go. I've been very happy with them. Nick thinks he needs subs. Yeah. You should just spend your money on eight inch subs. Cause it's not like you got to spend it on gas. I'm just giving him a little dig there. Um, Lone Cowboy Adventure says he's got to run. We'll see you down there if you're lucky, LOL. Just kidding. So uh, see you there. Safe travels from Keith. Um, so it'll be it'll be a good time. Lone said he will be the ugly guy in the black cowboy hat. We'll be watching for you. Um, but, yeah, Spring Fling is going to definitely be a good time. It's going to have a lot to offer this year. Every year it gets bigger and better and you know, I see a lot of potential in this rally and I want it to grow, but I don't want it to become bikes, blues and barbecue. I still want it to I be agree. spring flea. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I want, I, there's, I want it to grow that so that everybody's making money and having a good time. And, you know, I want all the hotel rooms to be full and all the restaurants to be full, but I still want it to be a, you know, small enough that when you walk into the bar, the bar owners can say hi and they can know you and, you know, they get to visit with you for even if it's just a minute and say, hey, you know, I'm so glad you're here because that's what happens now. And that makes you really feel at home. It makes you feel welcome there. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Most of the bartenders know me. <laughs> most of them duck under the bar when you come in. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Yeah, Nick's, Nick's uh, I saw him posting the other day that his shit's changing at work. He says he's got to get that house sold so he can get moved down here. And then we won't be able to get rid of him. Nick, I can lock the door and you can sit on the front porch and drink. Nah, come on over, brother. 
yeah, it's um, a lot of stuff going on right now. I, you know, I've had a few people ask when I'm getting to 2024. And like I said, that's just up in the air. We got some other things we got to make happen. And, but I have been working on the dyna. I need to do an update video on that. I fixed the last of the lighting issues, fixed my light the other night. So Bill, I had a, it was kind of, I don't, you, you, maybe you would know by just seeing it, but the front turn signal bulb wouldn't flash, but the rear bulb would flash, but not at the correct speed. But the bulb was good because I could swap a good bulb from the other side into the front turn signal. And, you know, it did the same thing, put it back and put the bad bulb or what might have been the bad bulb in the other side and it works fine. So it wasn't the bulb. So, yeah, I was thinking like turn signal relay or something like that. But on the Dyna, it's got one one module apparently called the turn signal module. So, right. yeah. Are they are they all LEDs or conventional no, bulbs? Or? Conventional bulbs, factory hmm. bulbs, you know, and this is the turn signal that I replaced after she had the accident. And, uh, it's like, but you know, I checked, pulled it apart, checked all my solder. Everything was still soldered up. No corrosion connection looked good. So I well, even, blame, uh, we'll blame it on you then. Well, we, we fixed it, but you know, I, I had to replace the whole, I had to, when I bought that, when I bought the turn signals, they came in pairs. And I only needed one. So I still had a brand new one. So I pulled it out of the box plugged it up or just 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 held the wires together and taped them to kind of and held them and it blinked fine so i knew it was the turn signal and what somebody had said they'd seen in rare cases is like that socket bulb in there will break loose and will rotate yes. and then they don't make the right connection so i think that's probably what happened to the bad that one can't happen so but it's all the new lights all on soldered up good to go it'll pass inspection when it needs to in a couple weeks or a couple months and uh I got uh, another part for it today that I need to get some repair work done on. And then I think uh, if I get it all done, I'll have the Dyna I can ride all summer if I have to, if I sell the tour bike and don't get into another one right away. Cool. So we won't be without a bike one way or the other. You know, I April, definitely won't be. April might let you ride bitch. I might have to ride bitch if I get the Dyna goes down, if I sell my tour bike. Well, I hear if you go to Big Trail, you can get one for no money down, no initial payment. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that right now. I mean, if I could go do that, I could do that, but I can't do that. We're we're trying to do something else, which means I can't buy anything else right now. He needed to add another no to that. No shit at the end. How about no? How about no report to the credit bureau for ninety days? <laughs> That I might be able to swing, but we're looking at buying a house, and that means I can't be buying anything or messing around with my credit in any way, shape, or form. Eh, house with the, you know, uh, house, with the, house with the shop. <laughs> our our budget is usually in negative numbers anyway, but you know. Well, that's my problem, but the bank doesn't like that, <laughs> so they're they're like, you. You don't, there's no way you can actually live and pay your bills and eat according to what's on this sheet of paper. And they said, you're way too fat for this to be true. I wake up at seven in the morning. I got like six or seven creditors out there on the front door. Son of a bitch. Let's see here. Um, just look and see if we got anything interesting in the chat. Looks like everybody's just a visiting with each other in there dave's crazy tra trailers in the chat dave are you coming to spring fling he just said oh i will not make it uh, i will not make it to spring fling i will be in florida next year brother houses are overrated by the bike road rush you're gonna get yourself in deep trouble with firecracker <laughs> you keep talking like that <laughs> but, but it, see, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be such a rush but this uh, this this house is this, special. This house was my brother's that passed away. So oh, shit. We're, we want to keep it in the family. And it already has the shop that we need and all that. So it's kind of a perfect thing for us. Uh, yeah. It's got a shop. Cool. It's got a detached garage. It's two bedrooms. So it's not big enough for the kids to move back home. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the things that grow my lunch. Buy the house. 
Yeah, but moving sucks. It yeah. does. Could you imagine after you're moving, lucky you live far enough away? I won't be calling you to borrow your truck or trailer. It cost me more than gas, and it's worth for you to bring it down here. <laughs> you ain't brought me that sportster yet. I know it's been, I've been trying to get the Dyna done and I've just got it finished and I'm ready to maybe start on another project. But, um, if we're going to be moving, I don't know that I want to be tearing it apart till after I get it moved. So it Chase may be has a, a question, may, maybe another month or a month and a half. And maybe I'll just, maybe I should just bring it up there and leave it and we can sit there and swap parts and then I can come back and pick it up. So we'll figure it out. Chase has a question. It's for you guys, Witchcraft Cycle Works. Are you hosting or also judging the bike show? This is last minute. I mean, literally just a couple hours ago this evening, we were approached about this and basically said, we will do our part, you know, whatever we need to do. We're still working out details. Uh, Ray and I briefly talked about it. And my first thought was, instead of us judging, we, we kind of have a horse in the race. Uh, and it, instead of, you know, the content creators judging, I would like to see everybody just grab a sheet of paper and put down your favorites and all the, you know, all, all the patrons at the bar can, you know, walk up and down and pick their favorites and, and just do, you know, a people's choice. Yeah, a people's choice. Yeah. And I'm thinking, you know, okay, we'll do maybe like classic bikes uh choppers of course stock stock and then do a people's choice overall mm -hmm. uh but you know it, it's it's in the works uh we're gonna have to hammer out the details but uh i would like to see i would like to see the people make the choice and and not us do the judging or you know even if we had the content creators do the judging you know people kind of think oh well you you all know each other you got your favorites right. i'd like to see the customers and the patrons all do the judging well, so you need to make a, a sheet with what classes you're going to have and have the voting right. sheet. She, like she, we do at, she we can do help that with at, that. We do that at um, the Freedom Rally. Good. So you're we, we are under the impression that Carrie and Andy have that already. The only thing they oh, have okay. to do is just change over to spring the names. Of, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, people's choice. You have to watch if it's like a local bike show because there'll be a favorite, maybe. But something at Spring Fling where you have a lot of people coming from everywhere, mm -hmm. it, it'll be a lot harder for a local one person thing to dominate like that kind of deal. I mean, maybe one guy that brings a big crew might be able to bluff the voting. But if people are really being honest and truthful, not just voting for their buddy's bike, it should be a good, fair way of doing it. And that's what we do at the Freedom Rallies, people's people's vote. Uh, Wagonators had a question up there. When is the parade on Friday at Spring Fling? We will be, and, and I hope they guys come and attend, from 5 to 7, a moto meetup at Switchback, and then parade from Switchback to the Cat House, and then a meetup at the Cat House. I'm hosting from 7.30 on, and when I say I'm hosting, that just means I create the event. All content creators are welcome. The more, the merrier. The idea is to, you know, make an, uh, when I make an event like a, a meet and greet like this and have multiple content creators there, the idea is that somebody can come and meet five people in one place that maybe they watch or that they like and, you know, visit with them and stuff. And, and putting everybody together in one place means that it's better for the customer because they get to meet all of these people or maybe even meet new people they haven't ever seen before too. And that helps those people who are maybe smaller or just getting started, get exposure. So anybody who makes content, you are welcome to come hang out with us. It is. And you know, if you're interested in getting, you got a logo you want on the, on the event, let me know. Uh, we'll find room for it on there somewhere. I got to put road rushes on there still, but that's, that's what the meet and greet stuff and the parade's all about. Yeah, uh, parades at seven then. Yes, parades yeah. at seven. The short answer. Yeah, um, Mike always goes a long way around. We never heard you complain before. <laughs> she, likes, uh, she likes it when I go long. <laughs> we're we're initially I don't I don't know maybe we're getting ahead of this but we're initially thinking uh, do the bike show that Friday maybe like three to five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
cool. then we can sit, count everybody's, you know, entries and announce a winner yet while we're doing the meet and greet from five to seven. Well, I'll tell you right now, it takes a lot to count those freaking votes. At least it did for the Freedom Rally, but we at the Freedom Rally we have a thousand people and maybe you know 200, 300, 400 people vote. Well, but we get, had be we so many classes. There we also have ten classes in first, second, and third. We had so. to we had to count up. I think one year it was like I don't know. It took us like five hours or something to count the votes but we have a lot of classes in it if, if i have to take my shoes off and count toes i will do it <laughs> hey just, somebody just do, somebody's gonna get shorted though just do it like our presidential elections just go <laughs> they won we're, we're still getting mail-in votes <laughs> kathy said yeah. hi we kathy miss kathy and ori at Daytona Beach. We never did run into them or hear from well, them, and we were so busy. I should have gave them a shout out and hollered at them, but uh, hopefully I... they had a good time. We used to know somebody like that. <laughs> they they got tired of living next to us and had to leave <laughs> the state. Hey, he wasn't just a he wasn't just a state man. They left the whole mid part of the country. Shit. Like, I mean. Besides California, I'm not sure, or Oregon, I'm not sure you can get much further away. Maybe the tip of Texas. Mike, yeah, you see. mentioned your sports star a second ago. Yes, um, do we know if they're going to have the outdoor uh, event thing that they tried to do? Okay. Somebody might now, as my, Yeah, I, as far as I know, there is no Flatheads rally in uh, that's not, I don't know the details. I just know there's nothing been about, about it. And when I asked, they said no. So okay. yeah, some people might want to know that. Yeah. I, I let somebody else who was thinking about building a bike know a few months ago that I heard it was not going to happen. So okay. vote early, vote often. <laughs> Watch out for those bloated chads. Um, am I going to sell that beautiful motorcycle? Fast and loads of videos for potential buyer to see the adventures you went. They can go on too. But I, I, you know, my daughter was a little upset when I first told her I was going to sell it. She told me the other day, I've known that motorcycle longer than I've known my stepmom. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, but it, it, the fact is, it's a touring bike. It's not that much longer than she's known me. You only yeah. got like uh, not about long a, before we got together. Yeah, about nine months. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's a, you know, it's a touring bike. I bought it to ride and, you know, I, it's, it was maybe when I bought it, I thought I would keep it forever, but I didn't know I was going to put 10,000 miles a year on it either. And that's turned out to be the case. And, you know, uh, I didn't have a content channel when I bought it. And with all the changes to the 2024 models and with where I'm at on YouTube, you know, and with what I, I mean, I said last fall that if they, put all these things in a bike it's what i would want to buy and they put 90 percent of it in the bike and lowered the price so you know mm, i'm kind of you, you know i gotta eat my words and go buy the goddamn bike that's like, kind of the way it is we got I, didn't, ass, I, did, I didn't say it just to make content i meant it you know and i saw so i do want one it just got to make the deal make sense and make it happen and everybody says April's way. Well, Chase says April's way cooler than the bike. Yeah. You know. True. Nick Don says likes the bike better. Meaning your daughter likes the bike better than <laughs> I know. It's probably uh, true. It, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jonesy. Jonesy's in the house. I want I want Jonesy to see this, buddy. Right there. Jonesy stopped by. He's from. Uh, uh, a state east of us, and he was passing through and hollered at me the other day, and we went and had lunch, and he gave me this beautiful hat. It always happens and, when I'm at work and I can't come hang out. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Jonesy probably doesn't want to come through here at 5 p.m. Well, since he's got so far to go. 
Well, next time Mike's just got to let me know ahead of time. So that way I can <laughs> be sick all of a sudden and need to go home. <laughs> well, Jonesy needs to let you know next time ahead of time. Cause I didn't know till he was at Owensville that he was oh. coming. So I didn't know till he was 25 minutes away. And I just happened to be headed in the same direction. So we met up at lunch and hung out for an hour and I got a free hat out of the deal. I appreciate it. Jonesy. It's a good looking hat. Yeah. And I've been wearing it all week. Jay's got to jump. See you at spring fling. If not sooner. Absolutely brother. And, um, you know, you, you know, I saw the video on the Indian and, you know, it, it might've tasted funny, but don't worry. By the time you do triumph and Honda and Suzuki, you'll be a whore. It won't even matter. He, he thinks he thinks Indians are the best. Well, if I get my Harley running in time to show up, we're going to fight about that. Outside the cat house. That's right. If Throw I get down. my Harley running, I like it. Uh, I love Ray Ray's white bike. Is that a voodoo child too? Uh, no, it is not. Someone <laughs> is in very big trouble. Uh oh. There was a video oh, that went out shit. today, and it shows part of my bike, but all it shows is just the color. So he's okay with that, but that's all the details that there is at this moment. I was supposed to, <laughs> I was supposed to take the tins off before I did the video, and I thought, that's just too much work. Yeah. <laughs> you okay. told her, yeah, I'll do that, honey. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> There's there's still a lot of painting and prep work and I I really don't know. I'm still trying to get it done in time, but it's not looking good. Well, Chase said still waiting for his BMW version. So I mean I don't know if he's offering his BMW up as a donor bike. Is that what that sounds like, Bill? Have you ever chopped up a BMW? Bring it by. <laughs> <laughs> Have souls all will but, but, <laughs> you bring it by but plan on leaving it for a while. That would make an interesting chopper. Mm -hmm. Jonesy said, I'll let you know in advance next time. <laughs> so, you know, have you ever seen any of these um, like German BMW R18 builds, like bagger builds that are like way out there? So I've seen a few of them on YouTube and a few places I see because I keep track of a lot of like new stuff. And when these premium builders in germany will put out this custom r18 it'll make a magazine article or something like that but i have seen some really really amazing customized bmw r18 18s you wouldn't you wouldn't know that this bike was that bike i mean it's like the paul yaffe kind of thing but on a bmw r18 and i think he actually maybe did a bmw r18 this year big custom bagger build i was just but, gonna mention he he did he had it uh, at arizona bike week i was, Stood right by it for ten minutes, and um, it it don't look like nothing up, like a stock no, bike. Does stretched it? it all out. I think he said it's ten feet long. It, it was Damn. pretty cool. Damn, yeah. <laughs> for a yeah. bagger. Yeah, it had a twenty six, maybe a thirty. I can't remember how big the front wheel was, but it was big. And talk about a three point turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was it was pretty cool. I'm not a huge BMW guy, but. It was pretty cool. He stretched out the bags and all that stuff. Right, Firecracker? Yep. Damn. I'll get silence when I take a drink. <laughs> I know. To, you wait till I drink and then nobody says nothing. Let me join. <laughs> oh, shit. You call that a drink? Chug. <laughs> Chug. Chug. Oh no. <laughs> he still got work to do tonight, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> we have a bike that needs to try to get finished. Right on. <laughs> you have a little cheering section for you every night. Bill says, I just want to go to bed. She's like, honey, we need a bike to finish. <laughs> you should see the whip marks on my back. <laughs> <laughs> She'll have the cattle pro cattle prod the electric one shocking the crap out of you she's using a whip instead of an electric cattle prod the batteries went dead so yeah she had to go to the <laughs> whip wow I'll, I'll send you some i'll send you some batteries ray so you can get production level back up to an acceptable level <laughs> that might help 
<laughs> we were discussing last night that, uh, you know, it's getting closer and, you know, eventually we're going to have to put it back on the road. Uh, who's doing the test drive? And she let me know with out any uncertain terms that I would be the one writing that thing. The first <laughs> time. <right now. laughs> I trust you, babe, but you are driving it first. Yeah. Yeah. She <laughs> doesn't trust me that much, I guess. But, but you know, I, I feel like there's a, maybe a theme here. Cause after I put the Dyna back together. No, you insisted on taking the Dyna for a ride after you put it together because I had wrecked it. You insist on that one. Now, when he put the sport light back together after we paint, did the paint and everything, I made him take it for a ride. But it was just up the road to get gas and back, so he didn't get it that far. And we didn't do a lot of uh, mechanical stuff for that. That was pull all the tents and, of course, pull the gauge and a few you know fuel lines and a few electrical things and stuff. But I didn't have to, like, take the wheels and the motor out or anything, you know, drastic. Or weld pieces. Cut the frame in half and re-weld yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> no, I am, uh, whether whether I get this bike done or not, probably not. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm looking forward to actually getting away from here and having time to relax mm -hmm. and have some fun. Uh, it, the, the weather has been getting warmer here and we haven't been riding because I've been in work mode mm -hmm. and I'm ready to just put work behind me and head to Arkansas and have some fun. Well, I, I get the feeling, but I can't say that I haven't had a little bit of riding this year. I mean, we did get a couple of days in Vegas, uh, a full week in Daytona. You got a couple of days in Vegas. Well, yeah, I, yeah, like I said, I, well, I got a couple of days in Vegas. <laughs> I got a full week in Daytona. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know how much we rode in Daytona, but I'll bet you we put a thousand miles in, in those eight days easy. Cause we rode up St. Augustine and back twice and just running around town, but we didn't, I mean, it's not like we left them parked all day. We'd go from here to that bike show, back to the speedway, back to here. Everywhere was a 15, 20 mile jog, you know. Just, it was nice, but it wasn't the nice riding like we have around here. Right. Is that something that you would be looking to, to do again? Well, we do want to do Florida again. We want to do Bike Week again, but we want to do it different. I mean, we learned that eight days in Daytona, getting there that early, you know, is a little more than what we want. If you, if you want to go to a bike show every day, then and sit at the bar all day and watch you know a bike show and just hang out you you're probably fine i mean if that's your thing there's the bike shows were so packed though it was hard to even be able to look at the bike well the ones at the speedway weren't bad but the last one we went to it was so the, packed you couldn't even get in to see the bikes because it was so packed yeah well it's just in this little willie's tropical tattoo takes place in a in a fairly small venue for as many bikes as and it's a ride-in bike show so mm -hmm. some people rode in and paid the admission just to have a place to park oh, because there was no place to park otherwise so it was so not all of the bikes that were in there would i say were there intentionally just for the show to like show them some of them were like cool i can pay 20 bucks and park here and i don't have to dick around for half an hour trying to find a place or walk five blocks because mm -hmm. i mean we we spent 10 minutes 15 minutes looking for a parking spot cops are running people out of yards they're parking in people's yards parking on sidewalks parking everywhere for for blocks around there it is packed and it was a cool show and it was a cool environment but it, the parking there is definitely um, an issue and then you know destination daytona is huge but if you're not there to spend money with vendors i mean how many sets of handlebars and exhaust do you need to look at if you're not buying yeah, I mean, it's cool to see some of the products. I got to talk to somebody from Buell Motorcycles and look at the new Buell. And they were, you know, I mean, they actually had subscribed to my channel and knew who I was and stuff. And so that was kind of cool. I told them, you know, if they ever need somebody to go out and do a video review on this thing, when they got it close to production, let me know. I, I knew a guy, you know, that kind of thing. But it was, it was cool to see some of the vendors and talk to them. It's not something I can do every day, you know. That's a that's a one time at a rally thing for me. I'm 
Mm-hmm. I like to go see Sinister Sound and the Fairing Exchange and a couple other vendors I know. And like I talked to Sinister and said, found out if they had anything ready for audio for the 2024s yet or not, you know, those kinds of things. But it's Daytona, especially early in the week, is bike shows and hanging out at the bars and concerts. And that's kind of one one scenic ride, you know. And that's so, it. our basically what our plan, what we talked about doing when we go back is either go to Daytona for a couple days first and then ride down and stay a day or two at Key West Mm -hmm. and then go back home or, you know, vice versa, whichever one we stop at first. But um, we've never been to the Keys, so then we could ride down there, see that. Um, He says only stay one night. I say we at least stay two nights so we kind of get the experience a little bit. Well, I I hate going somewhere and just having a day. And get there, and it wasn't enough time for me. Yeah, so. we can figure that part out. I would say, now, if you're into motorcycle racing, whether it's flat track or the Daytona 200 or King of the Baggers, mm-hmm. then definitely Thursday through Saturday is a good time to be in Daytona. Because you could go to a bike show. Like Thursday, we went to Willie's Tropical Tattoo in the morning for a couple hours, and then went over and watched qualifying races and things like that. And was it Thursday night or Friday night that they had the flat track race, but one night they had a flat track race, you know, uh, the Daytona 200 took place on Saturday and they opened the grandstands up for that actually like, so I was kind of surprised, you know, if you guys have all seen pictures, probably the Daytona speedway for the NASCAR races and stuff, Mm -hmm. that thing is how much, how many people do we figure out it held a hundred thousand or something like it, it holds more people than the city of Daytona has for population. Oh my God. Yeah, it's huge. So, but they don't open those grandstands up for anything until the Daytona 200 Saturday race deal. So Friday, when you want to watch the qualifyings and everything else, you watch it from the infield. And you can walk down there and walk through the garages and see the guys working on the bikes and, you know, meet people down there. And it was really cool. But, you know, if you're not a race fan, that's not going to get you very long, you know. So it kind of depends on what you're into on maybe how many days you want to be there and what you want to watch. Mm-hmm. See, I think it would be cool for us to go down, do a couple days in Daytona, go right down to Key West, stay like two day, two nights there, and then come back and hit the race, the Saturday races when we, on our way back before so on the we way, head home. So, so, get, so get back on Friday night so, and catch the races on Saturday and then and go then to Sunday. The then go to Main Street on Saturday night so you can like be. I want the. I'm ready to get the fuck out of here and go home <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and get up Sunday and leave. Because yo, you guys know Firecracker. She she's not afraid to party a little bit, but she was not like thrilled on da- downtown. I'm shocked. Well, I think it's more. We weren't really drinking. We were just walking down through there. I think if I had a couple drinks in me and was drinking. And I think if I had more of our friends there, you know, and stuff, but I just wasn't real impressed with being down there. Um, just me, him, and John walking through the crowds and worrying about scratching somebody's bike because they got parked on the sidewalk. And Yeah, it's a, it's, the people were talking online about how bad the cops are and how hard the cops are and writing people tickets for stuff. Mm hmm. If people pulled shit at Bike Fest like they did down there, half of them would be in jail. They have no idea. They think the cops down there are being hard. Shit. The cops up here would have had a cow over the shit we saw down there. It was funny. uh, So I'm at Cave Creek, and uh, a couple years ago, John Shove got arrested for doing a big burnout at one of the bars there. And so... When I was walking by the cop, I go, I go, you gonna arrest John Shope again this year? And he goes, My goal is to arrest no one. And I'm like, that's a great answer. I really didn't feel like I seen them being bad. Of course, we weren't like down there on the main street except for one night. We weren't down there long, but I mean, I feel like they were just trying to make people be safe and obey the laws, basically. I didn't see him being assholes or out of line by any means. Even when we were riding, I mean, I didn't feel like they were, I mean, people were flying through the town when it's like 
the speed limit's like what 45 on the thing and i mean they just fly and and go through there and they're revving their bikes and stuff and a lot of places they go to wouldn't put up with that and i don't feel like they were really pulling people over a lot but uh, unfortunately when you get a rally that's that big you you a large part of them are these hey look at me i just bought a bike i'm the baddest thing around watch this and they want to show off for everybody else and do stuff they shouldn't yep you're not impressing yeah. anyone have you seen that video where the guy says i remember the day i became cooler than everybody else it was the day i got my motorcycle <laughs> no that's there's literally a a, a like a real me <coughs> Where uh, that's and that's what they're getting at is you know like some people because they got a motorcycle think they're cooler than everybody else. Yeah. Some people are. Some people aren't. You know. But but just because you got a bike doesn't make you that. You know. Yeah. There's more to it than just owning a motorcycle. I well, and let's see how you ride first. True. Because there's a lot of non-riding motherfuckers there in Daytona. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Just because you could make the payments doesn't make you uh, capable of writing that thing. Yeah, we used with, at a, one of our bike nights at one of the Harley dealerships here. You can't say that you know people always come in and they'll rent their bike. And to April's statement, there I always yell out and I go, "Yeah, I got one too, motherfucker!" <laughs> like you know, really. Oh, I think so. our, our, our friend Jay used to say that all the time when he worked at a dealership. He said, you wouldn't believe how many guys come in buy a brand new bike and don't make it home. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I know a guy that dropped his on the way home. So, some of them would literally get out of the parking lot and run over over the uh, the, the railing and, you know, wreck the bike right there. Well, and that's my thing. I, I guess I'm more, I am very, like, worried about messing up myself or causing somebody else an accident that I don't want to drive stupid and, you know, cause somebody else to wreck. I think Bill froze I, up. I think Bill froze and we couldn't get a better <laughs> shot. Somebody grab a sneak yeah. screenshot of this quick before it, go, before it done freezes. Shut up so I can get my camera out. Look, he's got his mouth open like he wants to insert something in it. Got it. I got it. <laughs> you like got it on your bastards. camera, but I'm gonna take a, a screenshot right here on the computer. High quality, 1080p. <laughs> he might be sitting there trying to talk to us. Oh, I'm sure he is. He's <laughs> he's dropped. So Chase got it. Chase got it too. Okay, everybody that got that, I want you to post it on Facebook. <laughs> Bill was speechless. <laughs> Just post that picture. <laughs> <laughs> Road Rush got it too. So everybody post that and say the minute Bill was speechless, the one time, only because that, his connection froze. That's the look he gives when somebody brings an Indian in there for him to work on. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we're a minute or an hour and 37 minutes. Um, Shit. Is we lost. not answered anything that anybody need to know about Spring Fling? We talked about Daytona a little bit. It is uh, it, for those that have not been. It's definitely, um, I mean, or Ormond Beach. The Loop was fun. It was scenic, but it's not technical. It's not curvy. You're not, you know, laying down in the corner and dragging shit. Yeah. I don't know if there's a road anywhere near Daytona that you can do that on. Now, you didn't accomplish something I was hoping you would, and that's right on the beach. Would that be something next time you go? Uh, it was $20 a bike. It's a it was steep. $20. It's a little steep. So, Bill said, I think our laptop died. Um, the other side of the coin there, I mean, besides it just being steep, but you can ride it for free if you get out there before 8 a.m., but the high tide like was from Wednesday or Thursday on was right before eight o'clock. So, wow. you know, you couldn't really get out there then. And then it was pay 20 bucks. And for us as a group, I mean, if, it, if I just wanted to go do it by myself to do it for YouTube or something, I could have paid the 20 bucks, but for all three of us to go, well, that's 60 bucks that's just to ride down the beach for, 
you know, a quarter mile and get off at the next street. Right. Yeah, that sucks. I need to lower that. We did ride in the sand, uh, pulling in when we did the loop. We pulled over at like a little place where you could go down, walk down to the beach, but it was a bathroom and stuff there. And I rode on the sand there and it wasn't packed down sand. It was loose as could be. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're back. It's Windows. Just reboot it. Hey, I, I got a comment up here for John Sharp. And it says, oil your bike before you go to Daytona or it'll start rusting. But, you know, he's not going to like this, but I'm going to tell him that's just because that's that cheap metric chrome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what? That's his, that, that, that's, he's, he, Bill, you, you may not know, but John got a new bike. He has gone to the dark side. He is riding a street glide. He's one of the cool kids now. <laughs> I told Should've him got he, he's, got a, he's got a birthday coming up, and I want everybody to know that John needs Harley T-shirts for his birthday so he can get his biker apparel caught up. He should have got a fast Johnny. He bought a he bought a fifteen street glide, wow. low miles, eleven thousand miles on it. Up it came from up north where they don't get to ride as much. And it was stored at the dealership every winter. It has a stage five tire shredder kit on it. So it's a 110 that's built, 120 horse, 120 foot pounds of torque. He let me ride it. It's got a two into one exhaust on it. It sounds good. Reminds you anybody's bike, Bill? It's not a 120, but it's a 110. Um, but it's, it's a mean bike. It looks good. He traded price and reliability for cruise control and a radio. <laughs> <laughs> and, and chicks. He's married. Yeah. And, and he's already told her he's taking the back since he far off because she's going to ride her own. She's not riding with him. I was about she, to say, well, now he's happily married. <laughs> so she sold her bike because she decided he let her ride his bike, his, his Honda, VTX and she liked it and she felt more confident on it and stuff. And it's a bigger bike. She was riding a little 750. Uh, so she's going to start riding his VTX 1300. And he's like, well, we're not riding two up, you know, so I'm going to have to go buy a new bike. So he went and bought <laughs> a uh, 15 street glide that's decked out it's, Chrome it's, wheels. It's nice. Chrome it's front nice. end. And it's been taken really good care of. I'm, it's got really legends. Nice. It's got legends air ride on the back. It's got the boom audio. It's got all chrome uh, front. Oh, you'll end. see it it's at spring. Chrome Lane. wheels. Don't worry. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're coming He's to bringing it down. Lane. He should well, put it in that bike show that Witchcraft Cycle Works is hosting. Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> hey, can I give him a word of advice? Hey, John, when you before you get home. Make sure those passenger pegs are up. Because <laughs> you're riding a Harley now. So you're going to, I'm just trying to help you out. You're married. I want you to stay married. Well, he's riding he's, a Harley. He's riding a Harley now. You better check all the, you know, nuts and bolts and make sure everything's tight. Nothing's rattled loose, too. Loctite is your friend. <laughs> yeah. Use red Loctite everywhere. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> as, as your mechanic, do not do that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help it. <laughs> Bill, I want you, I want to share with you. We, I, when you guys froze, I told you everybody to take a screenshot because you had a beautiful pose. Oh, and wow. so I told him to post it all on social media and tag you. It was the one moment that Bill was speechless. Oh. Now, I'm going to share this with you because I want you to know what's coming. I think yes. the battery went dead in the laptop, but yeah, hit me with it. <laughs> All right. We may have had a little bit of a fun, a little bit of fun at your expense. I'm glad everybody, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad everybody can have fun at my expense. <laughs> there you go, buddy. So expect some screenshots of that on social media. Oh, but I'm we'll sure. Tag you, we'll tag you it. Hey, you know what they say about publicity? There's no such thing as bad publicity. True. Uh, yes, there is. <laughs> and the internet is forever. <laughs> hey, Keith and Renee Ray said hello. Um, Chasing Adventure says uh, red Loctite is the devil. It's good so, stuff when you need it, but don't overuse it. 
Chase, Chasing Adventures needs to post more videos. Come on, get with it. Record some stuff, put some videos out there. We're behind you. We got, um, I'm going to actually, I think I've got a video me and John are going to be doing together. He was looking for something for his bike and I, I have a hookup. And, uh, so we're going to put a part on his bike and do a video on that. I've got, uh, maybe some stuff. If it comes in in time to post, uh, I got, I'm, you guys may, may not know that I got hooked up with Cardo and I'm waiting on something from them, but I've got another connection another company a big company that's got a new product coming out that we'll be talking about later this month uh i can't say what's coming and who it is just yet till the certain date but you know some cool stuff but we've got a video coming with for uh, tcmt where we're going to do an install on john's bike i got a gear review coming of course i got a bunch of bikes to review that i rode at daytona so i'm almost done with, i only got two more Daytona videos to get, do to get them done. And I know not everybody's into them and they're probably tired after eight of them, but it was our first time at Daytona. So videoing it also was like kind of documenting the experience for us. And then also next year where I can go back and look at that and say, okay, here were the highlights and the best things and the things we enjoyed and what, you know, I would recommend you maybe do if you've never been or what you need to know if you've never been to Daytona. I mean, we was what Saturday night before we found out about the Daytona tap room, wasn't it, honey? Mm -hmm. We found out right before we went there to eat. Yeah. On Saturday night, last night. Yeah. And it was definitely, there's a few nights we ate other places that I'd have rather ate there. Is that where you got the double, the grilled, grilled cheese, cheese with, with the burger and peanut butter so, and jelly. So, so firecracker, tell, tell them all about how to build this thing. So you have a grilled cheese sandwich for the bottom bun. And then it's got a burger and whatever toppings. And then it's got peanut butter and jelly. And then the top is another grilled cheese sandwich. So it was good. Me and John shared it. We cut it in half. And I mean, that half, I couldn't even, I didn't even finish the whole half that I had. I, I tell you what, that is, you, you want to get on the topic of food. That is one thing about Eureka Springs. Mm -hmm. For such a small town, they have they have so many motels and they have so many restaurants. And everybody is competing for your business. So everybody in Eureka Springs is bringing their A game. Yeah. The food in Eureka Springs. Oh, my God. Tasty. I, I think I gained 10 pounds every time I hit the city limits. I mean, well, and, and it's so hard to choose. You got Amigos, you got the Cat House, you got the Switchback, um, the Hoist You. We haven't even been to all yet. I mean, there's so many places to eat. In that Every town. year you can go to a new place. Now we've got a new place opening up. We got to go try. Last year we tried Jonesy's out for the first time, mm -hmm. and now we've got another place, Polly's, opening up. So every year there's something new, but then you have your your staples. You know, like the Cat House and the Switchback and Amigos and the what's what's the mexican joint where the bike show was la familia's you know i mean i i don't I, I need to eat four meals a day and when i'm down there just to say hi to everybody mm -hmm. you know oh. across from la familia's sparkies have you guys ever we have there? not been there yet that's a that is on our list it's like it's like an old diner in the front end and then on the back end you almost feel like you're in a outdoor shed Hmm. The food's good. Well, and the Italian place that we liked closed. Yeah. yeah. But there Amores. is another one there that we haven't tried, but I, I tell you what, for, for anybody that hasn't been to Eureka Springs or the Cat House, if you're coming to Spring Fling this time around, the the Cat House it's not your typical bar food. I mean, they take this no. to another level. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Uh, steak strip sandwiches, oh, Rubens, oh. you know. The, the uh, I like their cheeseburgers, strips. but you know, not everybody's into cheeseburgers. Yeah, yeah. The food, the food. You, you're not gonna, you're gonna get a good meal there. It, it's it's not not your life. You know, the great thing about, like, if we don't get to eat at all the places that Spring Fling is, Bill, we get to go back in two weeks and try it, it, it for uh, International Female Ride Day and try, you know, fit one or two more in. 
Sweet. What what I need you to do is leave your credit card again so I can try some <laughs> oh. places out. Let's let's try not to do that. Cassie, Cassie. says she wants ch skinny chicken strips over cheeseburgers. <laughs> Cassie doesn't like fat chicken strips, only skinny chicken strips. <laughs> yes, she's very picky. The front legs or the back legs? <laughs> so um IFRD. Yeah, I guess we haven't talked about that. We probably should put a plug in for that as well. I mean, it's there, only that's going to be hopefully a big, big get together as well. It's what uh, is it? Three weeks after Spring two Fling. Weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. May fourth. May fourth. Oh, yeah, two... I gotta. If we're gonna do poker chips, get some order too. For that. Mm -hmm. If I we want to do them stickers. again. Yeah, especially if you're doing special ones for IFR. Yeah. yeah, I just figured I'd use the same thing, just uh, put the different year on it. So, yeah, I've got my logo saves, the logo saves. So. so so for everybody that's that's not in on the details of this uh, IFR, the International Female Ride uh, weekend last year, the ladies here did a tour around Eureka Springs area. We did a nice little ride. Uh, this year, we're doing something a little different, and the ladies are going to be leading everyone down to Fort Smith, Arkansas, and we're going to meet up at the Steel Horse Rally down there. So this could this could be an interesting weekend. Mm -hmm. Is Steve wow. coming? Is Steve coming? I don't know. It could be, oh. it could be, it could, it could be for your channel. Between Spring Fling and International Female Ride Day, you might make 70 subscribers. I know it. I God damn, I'm getting pulled in a lot of different directions. Listen you here. You don't even happens. have to spread your legs. Everything you that know. I invite you to, you always tell legs. me you can't. <laughs> I'll do my best. Well, you have a couple of women here that will beat you up if you don't. So there you go. That's a promise. He might so like that too much. I'm going to say, if I can get beat up by some women, I'm there. <laughs> Well, she's got a nice whip, so. <laughs> well worn in, right? They've been getting lots of use this last year. It's that goddamn Harley, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so I just throwed a, I throwed a link out there for if there's anybody in the chat by now that has not signed up to Bagger Bader's channel, make sure you get over there and check him out. Um, he did have I appreciate a little, that. Yeah, he did have a little spike at Arizona Bike Week. Yeah, I'm starting to get the channel kind of where I want it, you know, a little bit loose and goose, loosey goosey, and just for fun. Yeah, you got your Arizona Bike Week starts today. That was almost a thousand views and lost yep. half of our crew at AZ Bike Week. Yeah, that one did 1600. And that was the first video I really did where I felt like that's what I want it to be. So, cool. yeah. It, it takes a while to find your niche. Yeah. I mean, I, initially I was kind of like, cause I, you know, I got a potty mouth and I'm, and then I'm like, how far do I want to take it? And <laughs> I still run a business here in town. I don't want to, you know, right. I got to be careful. Well, you know, I mean, you gotta, you gotta feel it out. And then like I always tell you, everybody, your, your worst videos will be your first videos. Just keep working at it. It'll yeah. get easier. It'll get better. I'm still trying to figure it out, and I'm over, like over 400, 500 videos. I don't even know how many I've done now, but you just keep keep doing it. We're we're a year into it, and I still find myself going um um um. um. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. You're 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 just getting your cherry popped at a year still. Well, the the fun the fun of it is as you're learning. You watch Mike and some of these other channels that really got their shit together, and you're just like, "Wow, mm -hmm. there's they make it look easy, but there's so much going on to make that video what it ends up being." Uh, the yeah, uh, the editing. Oh, the fuck. <laughs> I mean, you know, on this, like Mike was saying, or the angles and the you know setting up the camera and all mm -hmm. this shit, and I'm like. I ain't gonna do that. 
Well, you think that's difficult. Try making this face look good. <laughs> All the editing in the world don't help that. Well, you know, when when you can do a job in like an hour, it'll it'll actually take you about two hours because you have to stop, you have to set it up, you have to think about what you want to say, you know, and all that. So wait, wait till you miss something that's key, and you got to take it back apart just so you can put it back together we and have. record it. <laughs> we have. Yeah, that's kind of suck. Yeah, I mean it happens. Like, dang it, we didn't do that. I did a, a one night, I forget what job it was on. I I did a couple hours worth of work and realized I was hitting the button wrong and it wasn't recording. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I've been there. I've done that. I've had recordings with no audio. I mean, I hit the button. There's just no audio. It's gone, which but, is not, not to be, you know, cutting into gear, but it's one reason I changed cameras change brands because I had that too many times and I was like, I'm done. And luckily I can say I have not had that any with the Insta. I have not a single time has it recorded and there not been audio like there should have been. Like it only went half assed and you mm -hmm. thought you got, you either, you either didn't get it at all or you got it all. No in between. We, we were, we were just, Happy go lucky bikers until last year. And you know, Mike's like, you need to start a YouTube channel. It's great. Okay, we'll do that. Oh. Hey, you know what they now say? I got a drinking problem. <laughs> you had a drinking problem long before then, brother. Don't put that on my back. Besides, misery loves company. <laughs> He's just on fire tonight. I, we can't complain. Uh, I'm, I don't know what we had envisioned when we started this a year ago, but uh, I think we're doing pretty well for our first 13 months into it. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, and like I said, you're, you're being true to your nature. You're making content. that's what you do, how you live, the lifestyle you live. You know, I, I make some content that I've, that is found around something that I was interested in, but I never really dreamed I would be making content about it. I've already had people ask me, are you going to do a financial quarter update later this month when Harley releases their updates? Those videos don't do like great for views. I could probably do some other video that would get more views if I only cared about what gets views. But there are people who literally are waiting for me to make that video. They want to know what I think after Harley does a financial call and Harley knows that I'm going to do the video. So they want to know what I think. I mean, there's people who are employees there have literally told me that I, I don't read our report. I wait to see what your video <laughs> says because I want to see your perspective on it before I actually look at the numbers. Yeah. Well, that's how and, you, you and I got started. I mean, that's how you and I met. I told you that, um, how much I enjoyed your financial reports and that, that you were the only one out there that was really doing them and um, started a friendship. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and to, just so if everybody doesn't know, I haven't looked today, but the other day I saw a thing that Harley Davidson stocks were like at an all time high from the last four or five year period. They oh, were wow. up to 50 bucks a share. And when Jochen Zeitz took over as CEO like four years ago in 2020, we were down around, uh, I think, below $20 mark. So I said last quarter, that, or after the last quarter update, they were predicting results to be low or flat. I said they were sandbagging. I think they tried to set the bar low. They knew these new 2024s were going to make a big splash. I've heard sales that are not bad with them, that a lot of people are interested in them. And the more they look at them at the dealership, the more they're getting used to them, the more they're interested in them. I think sales are not going to be flat. I think they're going to be good. So I expect a good report. But we'll we'll see if the numbers back me up based on what I'm hearing. You know, the Icon series, I think, has been a hit. And, of course, the Lowrider STs, they knocked that out of the park. Bill, you're kind of an old school guy. Did you see the Hydroglide red and white bike? What'd you think of that for a modern heritage? Because I know you got a little special place in your heart for the heritage. Uh, it, you know, if I had the money, I'd probably own one already. 
Uh, it's yeah, I, you know, I understand you you have to have the modern technology nowadays, but it's it's really a nod to the old school bikes and the the lines on it are. I mean, I like it. Uh, for for a twenty five hundred dollar upgrade over the base price of a heritage to have a limited edition, you know, serial numbered special edition, old school paint, nod at the old school bags. Even mm -hmm. I mean, I rode it for two hours. They let me take it out and ride it, and I haven't got that video done yet. But even the speedometer has a nostalgic look to it, like on the current heritage. It's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, mm -hmm. you know, whatever it is. That one's one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five. So even the face of the speedometer was thought about, and they didn't just slap the same speedometer in there they're using for everything else. And people may not think that's a big deal, but for a manufacturing company, that's a, a, a cost to have that special one for just 2,000 no, units. No, I, I, dig, I dig the lines on that, mm -hmm. the, the looks of it. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the windshield. I'd, I'd take that off, throw it away. But other than that, I'm serious. If I had the money, I'd own one already. I, I dig the looks of that bike. Yeah. I went to buddy Stubbs, uh, Harley Davidson there in uh, Phoenix and they had one in the showroom. And I, so we all went over there and checked it out. And, God, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm going to tell you when I was at Renegade, they had one just a couple of weeks ago. So I don't know if it's still there, but they had one. And and if you go in there, tell tell them your friends with riding in the Ozarks. I bet they'll even let you buy it if you have enough money. <laughs> <laughs> what if, what if I have no money? <laughs> we could always do the Jesse James. Then, 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 then please don't mention my name. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what I, I I don't know what happens. I, I work I work my tail off for a living, and I spend my money on whiskey, women, and motorcycles, and the rest of it I just waste. But you know exactly. Well said, sir. Yeah. So <laughs> stock is currently setting at forty two dollars and eighty eight cents. It opened up at forty three dollars. The fifty two week high is forty four dollars. But that's over the 50 week. But I think I'm going to jump out here. Um, see if I can do a longer period. But yeah, I mean, it's, it was not that long ago that it was down at 30 bucks. So yeah. if you'd have bought it, you know, let's see back in October, November of last year at $27, you'd be making. $15 on $27. That's a lot better investment than the bank's going to give you on your <laughs> savings account. Yes. Well, and, and motorcycles is one of them things come October, November, you know, the, the market goes down. It's winter time. Uh, right. even, even the used bike market goes down. And then once the weather warms up and especially with the new bikes, the new bikes come out, the big reveal and yeah. Things, so, things are moving again. So in 2020, in early 2020, if you'd have bought stock, you could have got it when right before they when they brought the new CEO in, it was down to $17 a share. So and the high the high since then has been about 49. So we're not quite at the highest level, but we're inching back that way. And I would yeah, I would say if sales numbers are good at the end of the, at the call at the end of the month. They're going to go up to that record $49, $50 a share level. So what you're saying is instead of spending money on all the damn motorcycles, I should have just bought stock. If you'd have bought stock, right. a lot of stock at $17, you could go buy the Heritage. Oh, shit. But I can't ride the stock. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't have something else you could have rode. Nine, nine. License, license, license and running. Hey, I got a funny bike sh shop story for you. So this guy I know told me this pretty funny story. Uh, guy had a pretty nice bike, tricked out quite a bit, kind of a show bike, wanted to have some more work done to it, took it to a, to a shop. And uh, yeah, about a month later, he calls me. He's like, 
yeah, how's our bike? How's my bike looking? Yeah, it's just not quite, not quite. You know, I got to waiting on this part and man, like two more months go by pretty much the whole summer's over. And he's like, where, you know, you know, where's my bike? I, or just, you know, this, that, and the other. Finally he goes down there. Bike's all done. And then, and he, so he gets it, gets home. And then he's rummaging through Facebook happens to get a crop, go across this guy, this builder's Facebook page and sees a slew of, pictures of his bike with this dude riding it with chicks on the back and <laughs> dude rode his bike all summer bike sh- your know, bike nights and all kinds of shit <laughs> jesus oh uh, not, <laughs> not good no uh, i will ride a customer's bike just to make sure it's right you know, right. around, around the block or two, but yeah, not for months on end on the whole summer. Right. <laughs> yeah, not good. All right, guys. Well, I think um, it's nine o'clock. I think it's time to let Bill get back to work. He's got a long night ahead of him. I see Ray Ray was reaching for the whip a minute ago. <laughs> and, uh, We've got some stuff to get done here on our end. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody at Spring Fling again. We're going to remind everybody, uh, you know, Friday night, 5 o'clock, Moto Meetup at the Switchback. We'll be there till 7. Then we're going to do a parade, leaving at 7, headed to this uh, cat house. And then we'll have a meetup at 7.30 at the cat house. Yes, Bill? No, you got to show up at 3 for the bike show. Oh, three on Friday is the three, bike three show. To five, I, three to five. I, I, we're we're, we're going to work out the details, but I think we're going to do the bike show right before the moto meetup, say like three to five. But we'll we'll work out the details. Okay, you let me know. We'll get it shared out there. John said wild hogs. <laughs> do what? John said wild hogs. Oh. <laughs> John's coming to um, Spring Fling this year on nice. his Harley. So I don't know if he's referencing a little video that we did. Uh, what was that? BBB? Yeah. We were we were at a little hole-in-the-wall diner uh, downtown Eureka Springs. Mm-hmm. And we were there Friday morning. Mm-hmm. And I looked around and I said, baby, I got to do it. She's like, no, don't. There's old, there's old men sitting here. So Saturday. All the locals. All the locals. Saturday, I looked around. And I said, baby, there ain't no locals in here. There ain't no old man. I got I got an urge. I got to do it. She's like, oh, go ahead. Hang on. Let me get my camera. <laughs> we're, we're in this little little restaurant, little, you know, diner type size thing full of bikers. I stood up with my coffee mug and said, wild hogs. The place just lit up laughing and other guys <laughs> lifted their mugs. Wild hogs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's what he's referencing, but that Could video be. got thousands of views. Awesome. Uh, you know, I mean, we, I've heard people talk about, it, but if you think about that, that videos, I mean, it's got some extremes for entertainment, but it's the, it is the kind of the epic of what this represents to so many people. They get together with their friends. They take this trip once a year or whatever. Now, some of us may do it more often than others, but it's that bond of friendship over motorcycles and sharing that experience. I did a little video talking about, you know, you know, it talks about like telling a story and your, your friends will, you know, know the stories, but your best friends help you write them. And I did that while putting a video up of riding Ormond beach in the background. And that thing has gotten like, 300,000 views in a week on a reel because wow. it resonates with people. That's such an, a, you know, emotional part of why we do this is, you know, for some people it's solo writing. They don't ever do it with any friends, but for some people it is, whether it's the writing with friends or just meeting the friends at the destination, whatever, but it's sharing this experience with other people that feel the same way, that camaraderie, that bond and that's why this community is so good and why so many people get so much from it. And if, and if you manage to live to an old age, at least have good stories to tell. Yeah. John comments, John said, you ran that guy off the road too. Yeah. He was riding beside me and we were passing each other recording, you know, in the camera, you know, how we'll do that. 
and some guy made a comment about, oh yeah, you just rode that poor guy off the road. I'm like, what? The, the guy, yeah. the, my friend who was riding side by side with me, you know, because at like one point he'd pull forward a little bit and he'd back up because he had a camera on his bike recording me, you know, yeah. so he's trying to catch me moving. And so, of course, somebody's always got to assume the worst of you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't even get me started. <laughs> all right guys thank you everybody for coming in joining us tonight hanging out with this bill and ray ray we appreciate you guys getting on the stream and visiting make sure you guys are checking out witchcraft cycle works if you're not already subscribed what are you guys up to these days oh we're at 6 20 6 30 or something i don't know like 6 30 something right on well let's see that number grow i'm gonna yeah. find your channel here and throw a a link out there unless you one of you guys has got it handy for your channel i know there's not a ton of people in here but maybe there's somebody in here that hasn't already subscribed to you maybe somebody watch this on a replay well thank you yeah i'll take back half of them bad things i said about you now <laughs> there's still a lot of shit out there then <laughs> all right well I am sure we will probably be talking this weekend or something whenever we get something figured out with the bike show and all that stuff. Yep. I put the link out there for anybody that doesn't have it for Witchcraft Cycle Works. Um, they've been working on a chopper build for Ray Ray and stuff like that, but they also cover these events they go to and stuff. And, uh, uh, you know, check them out. If you guys don't know by now, you should know Firecracker's channel. And uh, Mr. Bagger Bader's growing, so it's uh, cool to have other people playing in the same sand pit as me. We'll see y'all later and try not to pick up any cat poo in there, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all be good. Right. Good night. Peace.